And the way I got back to Panama and JCU, you would also fly on, we had these kits that we could go on any plane and, and remove a hatch and put an antenna that was unique to the unit in the, in the plane. Okay. And I was flying the med ready, the evacuation bird. So I would pick up special operators and at the time. It was mostly the seals who were getting shot. And as they stabilized, we'd take them and put them in a C-141 and fly to San Antonio, get them out. Then that plane would fly back to Bragg to get new special operators or gear or whatever, and then fly back. So that was my rotation the first few days of that, that battle. Wow. Um, it's an interesting time. That is. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I knew all those names you were – super heavy hitters um but i never really knew exactly what you guys did at jcu so it's i'm glad to hear a little insight on what what went on up there i know you guys did some really cool stuff they had just never uh, got any details yeah, you did urban warfare you did you had orders and i have them they're pretty cool it was a blanket order you didn't you had no grooming standards you didn't have to wear a uniform you could carry a weapon anywhere you had multiple passports for various reasons yeah. usually a lot of cash That's and awesome. one of the cooler assignments you we did two month rotations in germany and frankfurt working for various agencies there and we flew a special aircraft and but that's all you did for two months was just fly two days a week and do PT and live Germany. I mean, I saw the Rolling <laughs> Stones in Germany. I saw, oh, no. you know, <laughs> I, I bungee jumped the first time and, and Frank, I mean, it was just a wonderful, wonderful time. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, that JCU, you either had a tactical Jeep if you were going out in your normal field ops, but a lot of what you did was urban and, uh, more clandestine type of work. Good okay. Time. So when you got down, when you uh, went down there for the invasion, um, just that rotation, like when you went in, did you land at uh, one of the airports that the guys had seized? And then at Howard, they would... we landed at Howard. Okay. Yeah. And, and then... they, they had already brought the casualties back to you to put yeah. on and okay. So everything was kind of unique. Then the, the joint medical augmentation unit is the term they use was a unit maintained from within that JSOC community. So right. the SEALs and the Rangers would be brought to that JMU if they weren't hospitalized and flown out right away. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones I flew with and set by were guys who were like shot in the ass or the back of the leg, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they were just going to get better treatment in the States. And then I became the liaison that was working downtown with the, it's not General Steiner can't remember the general's name that was in charge, but basically as all the different units were trying to find Noriega, I was there in that headquarters um, and just relaying all the, all the different comms back. I, I, I'm sure you're familiar. I mean, there's so many different nets and we had all the yeah. different nets up. So you were being able to hear every unit all the time. Oh, that's what I was going to so say. You probably were like, had all the information. You probably heard everything that was going on. That would be such a unique Yeah, the big clue was when they would call, get on a net and ask everyone to get off. No one would get off. <laughs> right. yeah, you'd just go on mute. Um, but that was good times. And it was kind of yeah. odd to go into a place that you had just lived three years. So I had local contacts towards the end of it when everything had died down that would bring us rum or beer or whatever. And yeah. you know, my, my liaison army liaison guy I was with, he goes, where are you getting this alcohol? And it's like, man, <laughs> I lived here three years. <laughs> yeah. give, me, give me a break. So when they did, when they did get Noriega, I was the only one on the staff there that had a good bottle of whiskey to have a toast <laughs> for it. And so, right you know, on. the air force provided the, the path once again. 